Good morning, it is Friday morning and Art is going to go off to work as soon as I can mobify the baby. We tried getting her to sleep in her bassinet, but every time she'd fall asleep, she'd have that newborn reflux of her hand going Whoak! and it'd wake her up and then she started crying. So she's had about a five minute cat nap. She's really tired. She's not sleeping and Art has to go to work. So I'm gonna put her in the Moby and hopefully get her to sleep by just working around the house. Last night he got some, um, he did a lot of work in the room with Peter's help. And I think the next step is either the floor or the electrical. So is that what's on your agenda today? The floor. The okay. floor. I'm hoping to get some work done on the room today. I need to get the everything cleaned up off the floor and then I'm going to pull up the old wood floor and I'm going to see how it turns out. Uh, it might break apart while I pull it up. I think we're going to save it, just put it back down on top of the plywood and then we'll have to finish it. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get all that done today or not, but that is my goal. She went to sleep on my shoulder and then we set her down and she's still sleeping. I'm going to head to work now. You don't know what I'm doing. We says play piano. Over here in the kitchen, Lydia is helping make some pizzas. Your mom is helping. How's it going, kiddo? Good. Did you put the oregano on? Yes. Howdy! We are a homeschooling family from Fort Worth, Texas. We live in the country and love going for nature walks to collect little bits of nature. We have sent some bird feathers found around our yard for your bird lover. They include cardinal, dove, turkey vulture, road runner, and blue jay. I've never seen a roadrunner feather. Yeah, roadrunner. So that is really cool. Dove, turkey, blue jay, roadrunner, cardinal. I know. What well, was the vulture? Vulture. The big one. I'm thinking that's turkey. I think it's a turkey vulture. Yes, it's oh. turkey vulture. No, not turkey, comma vulture. Turkey vulture. Oh, right. <laughs> cool turkey. I think it's so cool that we have a roadrunner feather. We don't have those around here. No. We have several roadrunners that live in our yard. We enjoy them because they eat snakes. Look up on YouTube video of a roadrunner versus rattlesnake. We hope you enjoy. Thank you very much. Here's okay. some pictures, guys. Oh. oh no. Here's a picture of a roadrunner. Ro 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 see the roadrunner Ro 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 picture? Runner. Is there any more pictures? Yeah. There is the state large mammal, which is the longhorn. Then we have the state flower, which is the blue bonnet, and then the state insect is the monarch butterfly. Mama, take cool. that one. You like that? And there's a picture. Yep, and they sent us a picture. Thank you very much for hanging up on our board. They have that many kids. They have that many kids. <laughs> Two girls. That's funny. Charity's making some mashed potatoes today. Look at those. Those look like they're going to be good. Uh, after Dr. Hop, they should be. Right. What did you think? What are you doing? Oh, you're doing the crossword puzzle or the whatever you call that. I, I did word search A and I did the B-A-N-K. Oh, good job. It was, it's right here. Okay. So you did a fine job. And I got it. Mary is using her little, um, uh, what do you call that, potato masher. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if it's working too well though. Yeah, you can use it for Miss Fails or for Fails. And as you can see, Mary got herself dressed again today. In case if you're wondering why Mary is wearing her swimsuit in the winter, she just loves that swimsuit. So and she we... loves being cold. Yes, and she loves being cold. Uh, but if we ever go out anywhere, we make her wear something more presentable. But inside the house, we usually, <laughs> we usually let her get away with it. She's being very smart and with the shims up there. This is oh, the like wood floor. The wood floor? He's sure. putting the wood floor up there. Yeah, and he so also put the work. insulation. That's yeah, so that we can work on the floor. He do it this and he want to go in there. Look at this floor. It's really awesome. Look at Daddy's got it. We got about a foot and a half to go. You're good. And look. That's up high. Daddy's up there. Okay, I gotta move the ladder. <laughs> <laughs> That's 
a good one. There. <laughs> we have all the broken boards up there. Now we're pulling up this floor and that is going up in the trusses too. It's way easier to pull it apart than to put it together. That's right. Peter and I are finished. We have all the floor off the floor and in the ceiling. And we finished before dinner time. Mm -hmm. And it took uh, not very long. How long did it take? Maybe 15 minutes to put all of those up and to move all of those boards. Probably more like 50 minutes, but it was still went fast though. Yeah, that's pretty fast. But we had the first, we first got the hang of it and then we go boom, 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 boom. Right. Took a little while, but then once we got it, it went really fast. Yeah. And now we're ready to have some dinner. We're hungry. Our dinner tonight is ham, mashed potatoes, salad, a pineapple, and the kiddos made some more dinner rolls. And I'm freezing tonight. So we're trying out this little tea man that I got for Christmas. You put the tea in. Yeah, pull him out so you can see him. You put the tea <laughs> in his pants and you stick him in the water like he's taking a. Um, he looks okay. like, yeah, like he's in a hot tub or something. And he's and peeing right there's now. There's something wrong with that, don't you think? Yeah. yeah. And Grace absolutely loves the little man in the mug. It's Daddy. Daddy's the guy in the mug? Yeah. I don't think so. Yeah. 10.15 and the girls are settled down. Actually, they've been settled down for a little while. And I am ready to start pulling some boards. And look at this. The room is all cleared out. We are ready to go. And Peter's going to help me. What do you think? You ready? Yep, I'm ready. Okay. I'm just looking and trying to figure out. Wouldn't that crack be the this. best place? I'm just trying to figure out how to do this, doing the least amount of damage possible. Let's see. Here. Wouldn't you have to put like a blocker board to pry those up? A you blocker board would. like that? Be how are you to block it? To do... Yeah, and you want to be careful because it is tongue and groove. So you need to try not to break those. Okay, I think this one can come what's up fairly easy. What's tongue? Oh, tugging tongue and groove. I know what yeah. that is. It bites in. I wonder if you could start here. Um, Probably you know, could. I don't know. It's best to start at one end. However, I don't know how hard it's going to be. Well, I'll just start prying and see. What happens? Okay. We might be in for a nasty surprise. Maybe. We'll find out. Let's we'll find see. out. We always love adventures. Right. Daddy, me, and John love adventures. Yeah. You never know what you'll find. Let's hope you don't break Oh, this one's it. coming up easily. Let's see what we Did have. Did they nail it? Well... You don't want to step down there, Dad. Yeah, we have to be careful not to step on this or you'll find yourself on the first floor real quick. Please. Okay. Yeah. Well, let's, I'm gonna, we got, okay, we got, Peter. you know what we got, we got to step on, we're stepping on beams. Well, as soon as we peel up enough, we're going to put plywood there. This one is nailed in. Yeah, they're all nailed in. But how do you have Willie really know where to put it back together? Where all of them go? Where they fit. Sounds like a, <laughs> sounds like a monkey. Yeah, it kind of does. Squeaking. Calling for its mate. We don't want to step down there. Or well, then you'll be you'll find yourself real quick. That's very fast access to the first floor. Once very you get easy. one up, then it's easier. Which is hard to get the first one up without damaging things. Well that was easy to get the first one up, wasn't it? Well the the, the first big one. That was just a little one. Let's see here. Let's keep going. Can I borrow your pry bar, please? Sure. You want a little more pry bar? Yeah, a smaller one, so you can fit in there a little better. Oh, 
Hope you don't break anything. I'm gonna try not to. We break anything. That would be bad. Well, some is probably gonna get broken, but we have a little more of this wood out in the garage. I had no idea that there wasn't much between us and the downstairs. Right, there really isn't. No wonder why it was so loud when you jump. Right. Daddy's ready to get the first one up. Okay, almost, almost up. Okay. Oh. And Daddy accidentally put the nailer board. Yes, yeah, put a nailer right over there. Yep. So we'll still get it out. We can still get it out, but it'll just be a little bit harder. You don't want to step on this, or then you'll go through, right through. It almost out. You have to be very careful with the first one. The first one is the hardest. Yeah. Because the first one. Okay, there we go. Okay. Hey, look at that. We put that insulation in when we did the downstairs. Okay, well, there's the first board. And, well, most of the first board. Looks like some of it stayed down there. Well, let's hope that we are going to lose some boards, but let's hope that we can keep most of them. I got the first board up. Oops. And I unplugged the light. I got the first board up, but it took about an hour to get it up with a little bit of damage. First board's always the hardest. I'm hoping the rest of them go a lot easier. The next board took about 10 or 15 minutes to get out and it is relatively intact so it's getting a lot faster. It's about 12.30 and I'm starting to get tired and I still have to edit a video tonight so I'm going to call it quits. I'll show you what I got done. I lifted up four sections of boards and I still have 21 to go. Uh, but I got started and it's always the first one that's the hardest. The first set of boards was the hardest and it took a long time. The second one was a lot quicker and now I have them moving along pretty fast and I also figured out how to do it without destroying the boards. So we'll see if I can reuse them or not after I'm all done taking them out. I can't remember if I showed you this today. I put a couple of shelves in here. They're temporary shelves, but uh, they store all the tools and nails and the things that I'm going to need to do this room. And when I'm ready to put the drywall up, I'm going to take the shelves down. But it just keeps everything off the floor for right now while I'm working on the floor.